Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm Susanna Hirchog. I'm a psychic and a medium, a teacher, a therapist, uh, and an intuitive coach who is passionate about helping people in times of um, change, change and transition. So welcome to this page. If this is your first time, a special welcome to you to, to be here. And then if you are an oldie, uh, another special welcome to you. Now this morning, this morning I've been inspired to tell you something. Um, just a few minutes earlier, I was just like how you would do in the morning, scroll down your social media page. And I came across one family, I'll just very briefly tell you because I found it very, very inspirational. One family, a young couple in their 30s um, with a small child, where the mother realized how, how uh, eager her child is, her little daughter is, about uh, making her own pictures and, and what else uh, she could do with her own picture. And the mother decided to make a print of the, of the picture of her child and turned it into a little dress for her. And she was saying that the very first time when she saw her child's face being lit up by the, by the actual fact, by realizing that her own creation is there in front of her and then she can wear it, um, she was saying that was absolutely priceless. And especially when the child said, oh, mom, I'm wearing my imagination. I am wearing my imagination. And then I found it absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And then th that family, um, young couple, went on creating a small business. So they showed many, many examples, beautiful creations of children drawing, all kind of different things, and themsel themselves and their parents wearing their own designs. So, and then, then they, they captured, they captured the children, children's faces the moment they opened the package, and then they realized that 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 their own creation is in front of them, and then they can wear it in all kinds of different forms, T-shirt or tops or leggings or skirts or dresses or everything. And it really, really made me think uh, how much we are, we are expressing ourselves and how much we are really, really feeling joyful about our life and then how much we are creating our own vision or how much we are living into our vision or how much we are allowing ourselves to live live into our own vision or we are just backing up or trying to hide away or trying up you know hiding up in the chimney or hiding away somewhere as opposed to really using every single opportunity every single moment in our life <laughs> to, to live into that sparkle and live into that passion of who we truly are and what would happen if us adults if we created that world that Actually, yes, I'm varying my imagination. I am my own imagination. I am living my own imagination to the point that it is actually not my imagination any longer, but it is, in fact, the it, the life I am living because I, I have created something and I put energy behind behind it and it's maybe me who needs to do the work or maybe I need to create a team around or just like how this little child... Without, no, without her knowing what was happening um, with her own original work, the parents were the team who, are, who, are, who have created, who, who took, took everything one step, a couple of steps forward. Maybe we might need to create a team around us, maybe a support team, maybe some sounding boards, people who are reflecting our ideas or reflecting our energies, or maybe sometimes who pick ourselves, pick us up, when we feel a little bit depleted, while we are trying to figure out our own imagination or trying to live into, or trying to live into our own imagination. But in fact, um, if you think about it, if you have ever tried, well, in fact, we always tried. We always tried. We, every, everybody has some kind of experience, some kind of memory, some kind of uh, vision, what we lived into, and then you have created, and then, hey, that's in front of you. That is, that, that is what you have created, and then it is objectively you can touch it you can feel it you can live into it you can you can breathe you can be in the space you can you can drive it you can have it you can hug it you can you can own it in that sense but uh, or a situation um maybe your business or something like that so so that is just a little reminder you know if you have that little nugging feeling within you just remember how would you feel if you were a child and then, and then somebody gave you a present and in fact that present is your own imagination and when you open it you say, oh, 
I am begging my imagination. I am being my imagination. I am my imagination. And in fact, for adults, imagine, well, imagine, live into it. Let's live into it. You know, we imagine something. And if the timing is right, if the if the environment is right, if, if the all the necessary things are right, in that sense, or the timing, I feel the timing and then your frequency and the energy, if everything is right, then then you meant to receive something and you are going to receive that regardless of anything happening around you or any other kind of conversations the very heavy, earthy conversation. Uh, so the invitation is just focus on the little light within you, live into your imagination, take, take an action. So when, once you have an imagination, you, you, you have that little focus, do something, do something. Take one, one or two steps today, maybe just one step. In fact, what they say is, you know, take one step a day. Take one step, take one action every day so that you are closer to your own, own imagination, living into your own imagination, being that imagination. And just remember, take, take the whole thing as a, as a journey, as a, as a playful path, as, a, as, a, as if you had a child, you know, allow that child within you playing and, and being really excited about that thing. And then you know that you have that thing within you when you wake up in the morning and then you feel, oh, maybe, you know, it's weekend, I'm just going to have a little more, li a longer lie, you know, something, or maybe I'm not doing anything because I can do something else or I can postpone, it's much easier. But in fact, when you feel what your sparkle is and when you open your eyes, when your awareness comes back to your body and then you know that you are back in this reality and then you think about your passion, you think about your vision and then it really makes you buzz and it makes you jump out of bed and then it makes you really chop chop start doing things within the day or taking action, so doing things, organizing yourself, you feel that your, 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 your heart is beating, you've got a really good time, really good frequency and energy going, you know, that's, that is the little, little brightness within you, the little light within you, you need to capture it and then you need to live with it, live with it and live, live into it, live into it so that you can live with it, you can be, you can be, you can be your own imagination, you can, you can, you can be it, okay? And then in that very moment, it's not your imagination. It's, it's, it's uh, dissolving to be your imagination because that's your, the imagination is becoming your reality. And in fact, when we say that that's my imagination at the first place, it means that I'm already talking about my own reality. I'm just labeling it slightly differently because when time is right, when time is right, then there is a very, 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 very um, subtle shift when we move from imagination to reality. And that's why we are here to live, to live into that. Okay, so that's my little, little, little thought for, for you today. Uh, I thought I'm going to bring you three cards, you know, so put your feet flat on the floor, breathe into it a little bit, and maybe you, you, you might need to hear something or you might want to hear something um, which is going to resonate you or which might resonate with you today so that you are living into or getting closer to living living into your imagination and reality and then you might take an action so that's the idea so here we go here we go guys i'm going to use the carl gray this card okay so i'm going to bring you three 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 now while i'm doing this I am also very excited, very excited because I'm finalizing some plans for January and February. So please visit my website, www.jujannamedium.com. You can check the spelling in the bio section here. Make sure you spell it right, otherwise you end up somewhere else. <laughs> and you can check it out. I feel it's before Christmas I put things out, so what is happening January and February. And then also if anybody wants to book a session with me, either reading or coaching or anything like this, visit the website because I put out, I open some other pages, some op open some other opportunities, um, times and, and um, uh, readings. And before I forget... Definitely sign up for my newsletter because I've got some special codes for you to have even more discount or even more playful plays. 
if you want to book a reading or a consultation before the end of December. In fact, you can book it now, so you can you can still use it next year. So you can be smart here. Yeah. So here we go. Three cards. Okay, so bring your question. Feel comfortable in your body. Feel your heart. Feel your the warmth. The warmth within your heart. Feel your your shoulders dropping comfortably, feeling comfortable, okay? And choosing one card, okay? One, two, or three. And then just listen to what you are going to hear. What spirit universe or consciousness is giving us, higher service giving us from this end to that end, okay? So I've got one, I've got two, I've got three here. Okay, now if I'm concentrating on number one, I'm feeling playing like play, like somehow yes we talked about play being playful but i am present to an animal for some reason i want to want to have a little animal in my hand for number one yeah in fact i have a snake oh my goodness me isn't it just a beautiful beautiful start number one so if you are choosing number one you get the snake shed all skin this is exactly what we need that's a starting point so when you have your when you have your your little sparkle in your heart and then you have doubts. The doubts are hidden in the old skin. The fear is hidden in the old skin. This is what we need to shed. And when you shed that, oh my goodness me, the, the energy is just rising. And that's um, then you will just dissolve yourself in that sense. And then you definitely live into your imagination, turning it into your reality. Okay. So in fact, step into your reality. Okay. Shed everything, shed everything while it's December before we move into the next year, okay? So here we go. Okay, either declutter objectively, physically, in your physical environment or emotionally or, or mentally, okay? Number one. That's fun. Enjoy it. Okay, number two. Number two, for you, number two, I need to be organized. Okay, I need to have my diary in front of me. I need to, I feel that you might be like, oh, my head is all over the place. Okay, yes, I know it's before Christmas. It could happen to you. But then I feel it's not just because of Christmas. Okay, so let's see what we have number two. Number two, high priestess, harness, mystic powers. Okay, so for you, you need to meditate. Okay, you put yourself down. Drop everything, drop your, your list and everything. Also delegate other people, delegate things to other people, okay? And then you put your, maybe not put, don't, don't put your feet up, don't, not yet, not yet, okay? Because we are in a planning, planning and delivering uh, phase, okay? Just uh, stop for a minute, yeah? stop for a minute. Just feel your presence. You can start with feeling your weight on the chair, Feeling the buzziness in your knees, feeling maybe um, a sparkle coming into your eye, maybe feeling a sensation behind your ear, feeling the heat changing around you or within your body, suddenly feeling very cold, suddenly feeling very hot, perhaps. Focusing on your breathing. And then focusing on your breathing again. And then you take it as your practice as you move forward. Any such thing which brings back brings you back to your reality, your present moment is helping you. So that everything, all the, the the cacophony, the medley of thoughts and energies, the chaos in the mind, acted out in thoughts, will settle down and you drop your energy into your presence, into your heart, and then you feel being yourself and then you might feel that there is a space within you you have not visited for quite some time and then you know that that is a very very special place for you and then you feel that you want to visit that space again and again so use the forthcoming couple of days weeks while we are in December to to treat yourself to respect yourself and then to know yourself, know yourself, know yourself better, know yourself that you deserve that. Okay. So when you are in that space, everybody has that mystic power. Everybody has that high priestess within 
or high priest, high priestess within. And then there is so much wisdom, so much great greatness in everyone. So if you have chosen number two, that is a card, that is a message for you. Okay, here we go. Number two, mm, a very different energy from the previous one. Now, number three, number three, now I need to need you to be in action. I need to be focused. I just need to have my aim, not in front of me, in front of my eye, but over there so that I know where I'm going and I am delivering and then nothing and nobody is going to derail, derail me off my track okay so number three let's see what we have for number three you've got trader exchange energy to create abundance exchange energy to create abundance and while i'm looking at this card look at that i'm and my focus is immediately on the hand of the trader putting his hand on his heart following on from the previous message So I have my focus, exchange en energy to create abundance. And you are, as you are going along, as you are moving along, in, in fact, what I want to say is that while we are moving really, really in a focused way, just being present to how much you are exchanging energy sideways you know, with people around you, day after day you know the energy is behind the energy is around us we need those energies but we just need to be mindful how much we take in from other people's energies environments energies how much we soak up how much we give out so it's give and take but at the same time you know where you want to be okay and i'm also feeling this generosity with this with this with this um, energy Okay, so here we go, number three. Number three, three cards for you. So you might have found that it resonated with you, number one, number two, or number three. Or sometimes it is a combination, you know. So it's good we are recording this because you can you can listen to it. And sometimes it happens when we, when we listen to something like this. Oh, I wish I would remember, I could remember that. Here we go, it's here. So you can listen to it again. You can share it, you can invite other people, you might feel might benefit or might be interested in this. Now, you know this very well. I, I tend to share this recording um, with other people on other pages. Okay, so the original page is Facebook and I'm going to other, uh, sharing it with other people on other pages. So if you feel like, feel free to con comment or, or send a message. And then I always say just being mindful how much we share about ourselves, you know, because other people can read it. If you read it on, um, if you listen to this on YouTube, uh, come back to the Facebook page or the Instagram page and make your comments there. Um, so, yes, uh, if anybody has a question, please feel free to contact me. My email address is hello at com. You can check the spelling above or below or sideways there. Um, and then just um, yes, visit the visit visit the web page, my home page, and sign up for the newsletter and watch out for the courses coming up in January and February, and not just courses, but some other interesting, exciting things. And that is the those are my little little sparkles coming forward at the beginning of the new year. So here we go. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for being here. I love you lots. I, I really respect you for being here and I'm really grateful that you are here and listening to these little recordings. The idea is that we share that sparkle, so whatever comes through, and then take that little light, what I have in my heart here, take it, take it, and then give it to somebody else. Now, I did not, did not light a candle, did not light a candle, but then... I like, imagine I lit the candle and I'm passing it to you, okay? And then you pass it to somebody else. Be that inspiration, be that love, be that light for somebody else uh, today, okay? We just never know. We just never know. Okay, sending you lots of love. Be that butterfly. Bye for now. Bye, bye.